Trajan.com for that. Uh, we got to hear Trajan Langdon. We got to hear Ron Holland II welcoming in here to Detroit. Uh, from what I take out of this is Trajan Langdon said he wasn't scouting high-end talent for a while, but he went to a couple of Ignite games, and he started getting, oh, I like this guy. I like these guys. So he started watching a lot more tape. But did he get the right guy? We'll find out. What's your take on this whole thing? Well, it, it really sounds like Trajan got his guy. Again, this is a weaker draft. This 2024 draft is not what we've seen in the last few years. It's not the 2020 draft. It doesn't have a, a Victor Wembanyama in it. Um, I think what's more important here is to look at our history. Our last five GMs, starting with Joe Dumars, his first pick, Rodney White. We all remember him. I have a Rodney White bobblehead. Yeah. yeah those, are, <laughs> those were pretty free. Those were pretty free. They're still pretty free. Um, then you got, you got Van Gundy who came in, didn't have a pick. He had to swap with Charlotte, and that actually worked out. They took Spencer Dinwiddie in the second round. Who, if they only kept him. Ne exactly. Yeah, if they only never kept really them. realized here. Then you go on to Stefanski, who had an opportunity to draft Michael Porter Jr., but instead he moves that pick for the most hated Piston in my lifetime, oh, no. Blake Griffin. There it is. No thank you. Uh, Weaver then comes in and takes Killian Hayes, and now we've got Trajan Langan starting his tenure off with this Ron Holland. Each one of these guys has come in and put their stamp on this team. And let's be honest, none of it has worked out. No. None of them. None so of them. this guy has an opportunity. You're going back to Joe Dumars, who was an executive of the year, as well as a champion as a GM. But it wasn't on the strength of his draft picks. It was what he was able to do with his networking and connections throughout the NBA to land somebody like Rasheed Wallace for a bunch of spare parts and then get some of those spare parts back. So Ron Holland is going to be... It's going to be the barometer for Trajan Langdon for at least his three, first three or four years here. It's too bad that he didn't get a, a draft with some real players to truly choose from because I'm telling you, at this point on the board, I just don't think that there was more than Holland and maybe Cody Williams. doesn't seem like he was on too many people's boards in the top five or top ten, should I say. So um, this is a guy that seems like it was a slam dunk, the only guy to be able to be picked. But again... He is going to be tied to Trajan Langdon for at least his rookie contract. And man, for the red, white, and blue, I really hope this kid pans out.